Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping straight into New World, talking about really how much you can make owning a settlement in New World. So you have to defend it, obviously, with wars and attack it to actually gain control unless it is unclaimed. So a lot of people in the beginning, you know, were able to share money, grab money together as a huge guild, or maybe even a streamer, you know, grabbed them enough money uh, by giving coin, and you can go up to a settlement fort and actually claim the territory when you claim the territory you're going to be able to set the property tax the trading fees crafting and refining fees and you're also going to help your alliance out big time because when people are traveling to this territory there's a bunch of benefits including azoth uh, discounts so you have to keep that in mind you also have other discounts as well as big things taking place if you own that territory we're going to get more into that guys at the later end of the video i do want to talk a little bit more about what else happens when you own a territory so when you go up to your territory you have territory upkeep so territory upkeep needs to be paid every seven days by the governing company in order to be, uh, really kind of prevent the territory from downgrading the upkeep is not usually too expensive depending on how much you really have going on at your territory so in this picture here you're going to see the next payment is 100 gold you see taxes and fees at the bottom left as well so the governing company can adjust rates of taxes and fees definitely going to be a great way to actually make money you but you don't want to piss people off because you want people to use your territory uh, you know if you own Windsward specific in this case, you're going to want people to come to Windsward to trade, craft, buy a house, pay that uh, you know that house settlement, uh, or I guess the house tax or property tax, and then you also have the payrolls. So the governing company receives income from taxes and fees, and it's updated hourly and shows you how much you can actually make. In today's video, we're definitely going to want to show you guys how much you can make from a settlement in New World. So in today's video, we are going to cover just one hour of the release of New World, showing that you can actually make. 2,216 gold in less than an hour realistically and it's crazy how fast these can go so property tax these are where there's zero housing units trading tax there's been 352 transactions about 1800 gold they have the crafting fee as well about 90 gold refining fee at uh, 57,700 resources refined about at 300 gold so 2,216 gold within one hour and this is Windsward obviously a very popular settlement which a lot of people are going to understand that you want a popular settlement like Windsward or Everfall when buying your first settlement because it's going to give you great ways of making very, very fast money because there's so many new players coming into those zones. There's a lot more I want to talk about when it comes to this because how much will you actually make you know, in a full period of five days if you're making 2216 an hour? Well, I've actually had a friend that played a lot of the alpha, Cleo Menace. We talked about him before in a previous video. He actually uh, you know, talked about this recently at peak alpha. Everfall was making around 200 to 250,000 gold. They took it in the second half of the alpha and they think it could scale as large as 300 to 500,000 gold, maybe even 1 million if a good guild took over the whole server and funded or really kind of funneled all the trade there. So it would be crazy to see really how crazy this could get. You know, like I said, if a guild takes over the entire server, think how dangerous that could be taxes wise, uh, you know, really starting that monarchy. I do want to talk as well, you know, the tax periods are five to six days. So the fact that, you know, they were making 200 to 250,000 in the alpha means that during release, we could see prices easily reaching 1 million gold per five to six days per you know everfall or maybe even windsward owner we do want to jump in though talking about what you could do with that gold so town projects are something you can do you can start town projects upgrade your city obviously the higher upgraded the more people are going to want to come there and craft or trade or do whatever else so make sure you have a specialty so if you see no other tier four forges however there's a ton of tier four outfitting stations around maybe you should get that tier four forge you're going to attract a lot of new people to your city to your settlement and you can make a lot more gold uh uh, you know, it's just crazy to think, you know, there is a limit per person on what gold you can actually hold. And I believe it's around 200 and 250,000. I forget exactly what the number is, but just thinking about how much gold you're getting per five to six days as a guild, uh, it is going to be crazy to see what they do with all this money that they are, you know, starting to rack in. And I think that will be the next thing we talk about. So, so yes, depending on the tier, by the way, 300 gold to maybe five to 10 K gold for town projects is definitely a thing as well. So town projects do start to be a little bit more costly and there's other things that go into, you know, consideration when you're talking about the gold that, uh, you know, you're going to have to spend you really utilizing that entire settlement. So that's just a quick kind of understanding of how much money you can make owning a settlement in, you know, Everfall or Windsor during the peak. And do remember that release is going to be even bigger. So expect, like I said, close to a million gold per settlement. 
uh, possible as, you know, grabbing Everfall and Windsward are definitely going to be those huge starting zones in the beginning, at least, when a lot of people are running through there, crafting, trading, and doing, you know, just getting their first properties on houses and everything else. So I think this could scale, you know, exponentially, and we could see massive, massive, massive gold coming through. And I want to say, guys, realistically, I did not own a house during the closed beta. I want to keep that, uh, you know, transparent with you guys, I should say. But I did hear about, you know, how much people were making, you know, all of this stuff from, you know, earlier iterations. And then also from the closed beta, I watched, uh, you know, a couple videos and asked a couple questions to some people that did have the chance to own a territory. I do expect owning a territory in the actual full release. And I'll give you guys more content on that specifically that a lot of people are not able to actually reach that content because it is very, very hard to own your own territory as the guild leader, see all these options, see everything that's being done and being had. So we'll, like I said, keep you guys up to date throughout the entirety of New World's full release. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to quickly like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.